fighting for my Wall Street. Their choices are not our choices. Their candidates are not our candidates. Their economy is not our economy. Their government is not our government. now to introduce the independent Green Party and Green Party's Corazon Foley. Corazon Foley is a historic independent Green Party candidate. Cora Foley is the first Filipino-American candidate for Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, Springfield District. Ms. Corazon Foley is a retired State Department employee. Cora's husband is also a retired federal worker. The independent Green Party's Corazon Foley is also a mother, and a grandmother. Please welcome Carzone Foley. Thank you very much. Green growth is smart growth. We need more trains, less traffic, and our Green New Deal includes strong support for our senior population. Good evening. I ask you to vote for me, Corazon Foley, as your Springfield supervisor. It is time for change, for the incumbent is not doing his job, particularly for seniors like me. He failed to redress the unfairness with other districts having 17 permanent senior centers, while Springfield District, none. Over the last eight years, I founded and developed with county officials, churches, and volunteers the Burke West Springfield Senior Center Without Walls that was recognized with national, state, and local awards, including Community Champion and Lady Fairfax. We have petitioned for expanded activity space as our fair share of county resources and met with the incumbent on November 13, 2014. But all he did was say good words for the press and then ignored our many requests to develop a working group for solutions towards Springfield Senior Center facilities. So I am applying to do the job as the Springfield supervisor. <laughs> I have the education, an MBA in finance, and public service experience. 30 years as an intelligence analyst with the U.S. State Department. I believe in good governance based on the rule of law, civil rights, environmental responsibility, and the market economy. I believe in keeping our taxes low and reforming mismanaged programs, like the Lorton Workhouse, for which he voted for $3 million more without requiring reforms even after he himself criticized the $46 million of taxpayer money, our money already wasted. I am an independent Green Party candidate with no fundraising, spending $1,000 of my own money, excuse me, money of my husband and me. <laughs> <laughs> the incumbent has raised over $400,000, and by May 2015, he had spent some $300,000 demonstrating to one and all that he is a big spender of other people's money. <laughs> he objected, like me and other taxpayers, to the 27% pay raise for supervisors as full-time jobs. But if he does not work full-time, 
then he is not qualified for the job. And if he is reelected and remains a part-timer, he should return the $20,000 annual pay raise that he would not serve. As supervisor for eight years, he shares blame for what he calls failed policies of this board, including the highest commercial vacancy rate since 1991 and the long delayed response to support the family of the unarmed man shot by a policeman on August 29, 2013 in our very own Springfield district. As your full-time Springfield supervisor, I will serve as a fiscal conservative who believes in social justice. I pledge to cut the supervisor's half a million dollar annual budget to fund senior health programs. I would work with the school superintendent's budget task force to improve cost effectiveness with competitive teacher salaries. I am very proud that my own daughter-in-law has been an outstanding special education teacher and she is involved in streamlining the special education program. I am the founding coordinator of the Edgewater Neighborhood Watch, working with the police to ensure safe and secure communities. I ask for your vote for Corazon Foley for Springfield Supervisor. Thank you very much. Carrie Campbell is a U.S. Air Force veteran. Go, Carrie. And an accountant. Carrie, Carrie Campbell is an independent candidate in a nonpartisan race for Fairfax County Supervisor. Brad Braddock District. Please welcome the Independent Green Party endorsee, Carrie Campbell. Thank you all so much. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Thank you to the Independent Green Party for this endorsement. Thank you to all the Independent Green Party candidates running on the Green New Deal, Eco Jobs for the Economy, Albert, Jim Leslie, Solar Jobs, Wind Jobs, Paul McElvain, Rail jobs, conservation jobs, Janet Murphy. Uh, we're talking about making money with solar. You know, like the Green Party author, Ralph Fuchs says in his new great book, Green Growth, Smart Growth, renewable energy is a money maker. It is a planet saver. My house has 51 solar panels, geothermal heating and cooling. The first year we installed at Brooklyn Ken Lake, we made money. The first year, 10 times the energy was produced than was consumed, and everybody can do that. Everybody can do that with their house. I am, as Priscilla Burnett said, an independent candidate in a nonpartisan race for Braddock District Supervisor. You know, we need, in Fairfax County, every public building to make money for taxpayers. Install geothermal heating and cooling. Add solar panels. Out of our county capital budget of $7 billion, Jim Leslie, it's over $7 billion. In the capital infrastructure budget, Albert Burkhart, there is enough money in there to put in geothermal heating and cooling in every public building. The money is there to invest in green energy. And Joyce Robinson Paul, from the D.C. Green Party, you know, we need to do in Fairfax County what the D.C. government has done thanks to the strong statehood Green Party in D.C., and that is help citizens install solar panels and geothermal heating and cooling with renewable energy grants, G. Lee Aiken. That's what we need to do. You know, transportation is another reason that I am running for Braddock District Supervisor. Kate Alexandro, but we need walkable bikeable, pedestrian-friendly, and rail-friendly communities. Not just for you, Kate, not just for Erica Lawler, but for all of us and for those cute children you I'm have. I'm on it, sir. <laughs> yes, ma'am. The Independent Green Party is right. We need to bring bike share to Braddock District. You know, Arlington, Alexandria, and D.C., and cities across the United States are kicking it with bike share. Where bike lanes have been added in Fairfax County, traffic accidents declined by 13 percent. Almost 80 percent of the residents where bike lanes were installed approved. 71 percent of the folks, whether they biked, walked, or drove, said they felt safer in their communities. And to those of us who are eco-capitalists like myself, 
The good news is they make money out of that. The value of our homes, our businesses, and properties with rail and with bikes rise. As Braddock District Supervisor, I would, I would add electronic signs at all of the major stops, major intersections by Virginia Rail Express. We have three of those in, in my district, Backlick, Burke, and Rowling. We do, to need, do indeed need more trains and less traffic. We need Virginia Rail Express dedicated passenger track. Brooklyn Kinley is a real estate broker. Jim Leslie is a real estate broker. You guys both know where you build rail. The property value goes up and everybody makes money. Light rail on the Beltway. Light rail on Braddock. Light rail on Little River Turnpike. These are positive, independent Green Party solutions. Rail saves lives. Rail pays for itself through economic growth, green growth, smart growth. Every dollar invested in rail creates over $20 of economic development, Paul McIlvain. We need that rail down there to Fort Belvoir in your district, Paul McIlvain. Green New Deal jobs, eco jobs for the economy. We need to level the playing field for bikes, rail, pedestrians, and renewable energy. Cut taxpayer subsidies to zero for oil, auto, asphalt, Corazon Foley. Over almost a trillion dollars a year in tax subsidies to big oil. We're smarter than that. We're more fiscally conservative that, than that. And we say no to those billion dollar boondoggle toll roads on I-66. We say yes to life-saving, profit-making rail for renewable energy. We need high-speed rail statewide. We need to build new passenger dedicated rail tunnel under the Potomac. I'm Kerry Campbell, the independent candidate for Braddock District Supervisor. I ask for your vote for Braddock District Supervisor on November 3rd. And if you're going to be out of town, you know you can start voting early by absentee September 18th. Thank you very much. in our hands. Dr. Jill Stein is one of several candidates running for the Green Party nomination for U.S. President. Other Green Party candidates include Dr. Kent Mesplay, Daryl Cherney, Ms. Kristen Curry, and Dr. Bill Kremel. It is now my pleasure to introduce Molly Leffler. Molly Leffler is a successful businesswoman and community leader. Molly Leffler is a wife and mother. Molly Leffler has a BA in sociology from George Mason University. In 2010, she was selected Fairfax County Citizen of the Year by the Fairfax Federation of Citizens Associations. She is a candidate for Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, Mason District. Please welcome her to the podium. Thank you very much and uh, great to be here. Thanks for having me. My name is Molly Leffler and I'm running for supervisor in Mason District uh, because I've been asked to run by several in the community and it's been a passion of mine to help give the community a voice over the past several years in my um, role as a community leader. I started my civic association from the ground up and uh, soon after that I reached out to other neighborhoods to help uh, them have a voice and I restarted a group called the Mason District Council of Community Associations which is neighborhood a group of neighborhood leaders that get together and basically connect ideas and connecting communities is what I'm about and I'm running for supervisor because our district needs uh, a fresh approach new ideas and responsive leadership and uh, as supervisor, my number one goal will be to um, make schools my top priority. Um, I am a mom of two children and, um, in, in Fairfax County Public Schools, and I know firsthand some of the challenges we're facing in our schools, and that will be one of my top priorities, and you can rest assured that I'm going to work with the school board, which is something that I have not seen our current supervisor uh, is doing. Secondly, I'm going to um, say a statement that everybody's been saying, where is re revitalization in Mason District? It, we're past due for revitalization. Um, when we have um, Annandale in our district and some parts of Falls Church and Alexandria, 
And, um, you know, I hear over and over again when, you know, other districts are getting these great new town centers spurring economic growth, where is our share of the redevelopment? So part of my um, role as supervisor will be to make sure that we team up with area businesses, clean the area up, and let's, let's make Annandale a destination and let's make Mason District a destination because we have such great things there, really good restaurants, uh, the most ethnically diverse restaurants, and it's just wonderful food. So that's gonna be, um, revitalization is past due, and that's gonna be one of my goals. Um, and also, um, you think that with all these folks driving through our district to commute to DC or wherever they're going, um, that we'd get uh, more of our share of transportation funding and have some better bike lanes in. I've, um, we've had a lot of discussions on the bike, uh, I know a lot of bike people, and they're constantly talking about how they drive, they're riding their bike, barely getting by in, in our district, and then they go into Arlington. And it's just like, ah, the gates of joy open up. So I'd like to see new um, multimodal transportation and get our share of um, new ways to um, get around in, in Mason District. And finally, I wanna just say that my passion has been to build community. And um, that's something that will be one of my top goals is to recognize community leaders and those who give back in their community and those who you know help out their um, neighborhood civic associations. I wanna make sure we instill um, a, re a recognition program because Recognition is the number one factor in job satisfaction. So um, I think that is past due where we are in Mason District is time to recognize leaders and create an award system. So that would be something else that I um, would like to do as supervisor. And uh, I ask for your vote November 3rd and your support. Um, and I appreciate you letting me come here today. Again, please vote for Molly Leffler, Mason District Supervisor, November 3rd. It is a joy to introduce the Independent Green Party's Colonel Jim Leslie. Colonel Jim Leslie is the only Native American Indian on the ballot for Virginia's House of Delegates. Independent Green Party candidate Colonel Jim Leslie is a Vietnam veteran. A U.S. Marine Colonel Jim Leslie was a pilot in Vietnam. The Independent Green Party Jim Leslie is a husband, father, and grandfather. Like me, Colonel Jim Leslie is a real estate professional. Please welcome the Independent Green Party, Jim Leslie. Thank you, Brooklyn. <laughs> thank you, Brooklyn. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you, Independent Green Party. <laughs> we certainly have an energetic group here today, and, and uh, thank you all for helping this country and helping Virginia. The Green Party's Dr. Jill Stein is right. It's in our hands. As citizens, it is our duty and responsibility. The Green Party, Green New Deal means preserve the republic, safeguard our democratic institutions, and protect our planet, our future generations. This Green Party work is for our children, our grandchildren, and their children. Already in Virginia, more people work in renewable energy than coal. Solar insta installations doubled in the last year. Green organic agriculture is growing. Best green practices preserving federal fertile arable lands are increasing. Thousands of green businesses, millions of green scientists and engineers are finding innovative green solutions every day. They are making green profits. They are green money. The green eco-capitalist revolution has already begun. Human ingenuity in harmony with biosphere is green profit making future. The independent Green Party is right. We can make Virginia and America great again. <clears throat> Virginia and America will be great with the Green New Deal eco jobs for the economy will grow business and wealth of every American. Green growth is smart growth. Renewable energy is cheapest to build. High speed modem nationwide mechanic levitation rail would create four million jobs. The Independent Green Party 
is for rail to Dallas and beyond. Build the Cameron Run Virginia Rail Express Station. Build the Potomac Yard Metro Rail Station. Put light rail on the Beltway. Light rail on Backlick, Braddock, and Little River. Build rail to Fort Belvoir. Build a new passenger rail tunnel under the Potomac. Install electronic signs at every intersection near Virginia Rail Express. Build a dedicated passenger rail track for Virginia Rail Express. Add new eight rail car trains to the Metro Rail. We say no to wasting taxpayer dollars on million dollar boondoggle toll roads. Do not give way to public property to private campaign contributors. No billion dollar boondoggles toll roads on I-66. Cut taxpayer subsidies to zero for big oil, big auto, and big asphalt. Almost half a million dollars in tax subsidies go to big oil every year. According to the new book, Green Growth, Smart Growth by Ralph Fuchs, Green Party, we need more trains, less traffic. It's the positive solution. Rail saves lives. Rail pays for itself through economic growth. Rail makes money. Every dollar invested in the rail creates 20 million in economic development. Rail increases the value of our homes, businesses, and communities. Rail creates revenue for our schools, police, and fire department. The Independent Green Party New Deal is for rail because it provides rapid evacuation in emergencies. Rail is a national security issue. So, as an Independent Green Party candidate and United States Marine, I want to salute the Green Party and all of the other Green Party candidates. Thank you for your patriotism, citizens to service in this land, its people and the planet we love. I am Jim Leslie, Independent Green Party candidate for the House of Delegates. I ask for your vote on November 3rd. Hello, everyone. My name is Kate Alexandrova, and I'm co-host of uh, Green Party TV. Uh, thanks for having me today at this fabulous convention. It is my pleasure now to introduce Dr. Catherine Pettigrew. Catherine is part of our Indy Green Party wife husband team running for school board. The Independent Green Party's Dr. Catherine Pettigrew is a university professor. Dr. Catherine Pettigrew is a veteran Independent Green Party candidate. She ran for a state senate. Dr. Pettigrew is a wife and a mother. Please welcome Dr. Catherine Pettigrew. Thank you, Kate. Um, hi, my name is Catherine Pettigrew, and I am running for the Independent Green Party candidate for Fairfax County School Board, Braddock District. As a local college professor, I teach the product of our current K through 12 educated students as kindergarten through 12th grade, and I see the hard work that our uh, K through 12 teachers do. I also see the outcome of our current teaching methods and philosophy, and it is my role to further prepare these students into the professional world of the future. Um, for this, we need the Green New Deal. Economic friendly jobs, rail jobs, solar jobs, wind jobs, geothermal jobs. We need the McAleve, McAleve high speed rail statewide. Uh, the trains need to be as fast as the planes. Our children should be building these systems um, in the incoming years. We shouldn't be outsourcing it. These are jobs that I want to prepare our students for. These are highly technological. Uh, technical professional jobs, leveraging with the latest technology, and it's very multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary. And this is why I'm a firm believer in STEM education. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and it is the future. The jobs of, of the future will belong to those who have a broad interdisciplinary knowledge based in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and we have to start teaching those students uh, in an application-based STEM environment in order to be ready for tomorrow. The labor market of tomorrow is unknown. We can't predict it. Um, due to technological disruptions, the collapse of industry, and the automation of a lot of the things we do on a normal basis. 
All of these things mean that today's students will be entering a least secure job market of tomorrow. To be successful in the coming decades, the traditional college degree or even high school degree, um, we can't keep with that. We have to teach our students to be flexible and collaborative in the STEM workforce, and these teachers will help us develop this. The future of our schools need to shift to a more collaborative, dynamic, and flexible model of teaching. These students of Fairfax County deserve an education that prepares them for the unique challenges of the labor workforce of tomorrow. The 21st century skills call for the four C's, which are communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and creativity. Teaching a static set of skills is no longer enough. The educators must inspire and the desire to learn, the willingness to adapt, and the critical thinking skills that will allow our students to be successful in the future workforce. My, pri my priority is to be sure that the Fairfax County schools develop a curriculum with a view towards a future proofing our children. Um, doing so is a failure to our current students and our future students. Voting for students um, who are better prepared for an uncertain workforce, vote independent green, vote for Catherine Pettigrew for Fairfax County Braddock School, Fairfax County School Board Braddock District. Thank you. Oh, and th thank you. And now it's my pleasure to introduce another veteran Green Party candidate, a loving father, and my husband, Peter Marchetti. He has and he is joining me in running for the Fairfax County School Board at large. <laughs> 